What's up, YouTube? But just for y'all know the update, giving y'all an update. But for y'all who didn't know, I was in an accident. My twin wasn't in there with me. It was just me. And um, yeah, man, I'm just giving y'all an update. That's why we didn't post for um, a week. I was recovering from it. And um, I'm better now, man. I feel cool. You know, my back just a little sore, but it's, it's cool, man. And um, I just wanted to give y'all an update of what happened and everything that was happening. But uh, yeah, so the story is, man, uh, what was it? I was going to this car meet. And you know, me and my boy Rico, uh, we was we was driving to the car meet, man. And I was gonna turn in into this, uh, into this parking lot somewhere, to this parking lot. And I guess this dude was just was on his phone it wasn't looking. He had to be, cause he didn't. He didn't stop. You didn't hit the brakes. Like you know when you hit the brake hard. I mean hard, and you going fast. You hear a skirt. You didn't hear none of that. You didn't hear no horn beep. So this man was just on this phone like this. Then just see me, just hit me. He couldn't stop. He had a truck, and uh, he just smacked me hard, man. It felt like I was in a dream. All I heard was like a pow, like a, like a gun sound. And uh, I'm like, oh my God, this dude did not really just hit my car, man. It's crazy, man. It felt like a dream. I never thought it happened to me. But, uh, you know, God do everything for a reason, man. And, uh, yeah, he did hit me, man. It's crazy. He worked so hard for something to just see it go away. But, you know, God put me through anything. He put you through stuff that you can handle. And I know I can handle it, man. And just the other other story to tell and uh yeah he hit me then i hit my boy rico in front of me because when he hit me my car stopped like it just turned off it i couldn't like i pressed the brakes it wouldn't like stop then it just turned back on like he hit me so hard and thank god i was in a i had a challenger other than like a small car or my like my brother mercedes because challengers they weigh over four thousand pounds so I'm just glad I had a big enough car to take that impact from a truck. Because that truck was not small, man. That truck was big. And uh, he smacked me pretty hard. So I think that breaks the impact a little bit because how big the, and heavy the challenges are. But uh, yeah, man. So all I'm doing, thank God he had insurance. He had everything. So, you know, he didn't get screwed over. And uh, I'm just waiting on my insurance to see if the car totaled or not i'm gonna put pictures in there so y'all can see how the car look and everything because i don't everybody people i said had people text me oh why you didn't post or oh, why you ain't posting yeah, i guess I, everybody don't got instagram i only posted on instagram and facebook but uh yeah i'm just letting the people know on my youtube fans who don't got instagram what happened at the accident i went to the hospital uh, they gave me some some uh, medicine, some back pads and everything, you know, for the soreness of my back. And my head was hurting at the time, but my head fine now. But, um, you know, what the doctor said, you ain't gonna be feeling the pain, like, right away, like, in that same day, because your adrenaline, adrenaline weren't rushing through your body and everything, your muscles tense from the thing. So she said, you gonna feel it a few days later. And she wasn't lying, bro. She wasn't lying. But uh, yeah, man, I'm okay. Thank God, I didn't nothing happened to me. No serious injuries, just soreness. But uh, please don't text and drive, man, because that could have been something serious, man. That's why every time I get on my phone, bro, I just wait. I just wait, man. Don't text and drive, bro. The dude was, the dude was young. He was a kid, probably the same age as me. He he looked scared. He I don't know. He was mad. He wanted to argue. Um, it was a whole bunch of witnesses because I was going to a car meet, so it was like everybody seen it. And he had like he couldn't. He just couldn't lie, bro. It, like it was 20, 30 plus people who seen the crash and heard it. But um, yeah, man, it was, he was young. He was trying to argue with other people. Shout out to my other homies who was there, man. And um, yeah, man. It was a kid just looking on his phone. I don't even know what's wrong with him. And <laughs> my brother, when I told him I was in the crash, he thought I did it. 
I don't know why people think because you just got a, a, a challenger or a fast car, sporty car, you you the one who do it. But uh, yeah, man, if, if you know me, man, I drive safe, I drive cautious. I don't be swerving lanes. I don't be trying to uh, run from the police. I'm not that type of driver, I'll tell you that right now. I don't want nothing on my record. I'm not no criminal. Uh, my, my, my record is flawless, knock on wood. I, I never got no tickets, knock on wood. Uh, I'm, like my record was clean, so um, yeah, man. I'm not. I'm. I'm. One thing for sure. I, <laughs> I pride towards my life first. I don't care about racing. I don't. I don't care about trying to go fast and press somebody. Nah, nah. I'm cool. I can drive cool, clean, and collected, chill. I can. I can hit the gas sometimes, but I'm just chill, man. I ain't finna mess up. I'm not finna try to mess up my car. I'm not gonna be trying to go fast to impress nobody and just because they don't gotta pay for it. They didn't pay all that money for that car. So if you, if my family, know, man, I, I'm a cautious driver. I'd be, I'd, I'd, I'd be, I'd be alert. But the time somebody got me lacking, man, they caught me, man. But uh, yeah, man, I just wanted to say that because you know some people think you got a fast car or you did it or uh, you trying to drive too fast. Nah, that's not the case. They hit me, man, but, uh, yeah, that's crazy, bro. Um, but, yeah, after everything, yeah, it was cool, man. I waited. My brother came, came to pick the car up and everything. But this is just all motivation for me just to keep on going, keep on pushing. You already know the, 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 the devil going to want you to, to stop, going to want you to, me to be depressed, sad, be in the bed all day, laying down. But I can't, man. Got to keep on going. Got to keep pushing through all the adversity anybody go through, man. And there's just motivation for me just to see how strong I am and just keep on pushing through all the pain. through. Because that was my first car I ever bought. If you know our story or me and my brother's story, we came from nothing, man. Like, we literally didn't have nothing. We was literally poor growing up. Didn't have no phones. Didn't have nothing. So just for me to get a car and for me to get that type of car at the 22, a Dodge Challenger Scat Pass, like, come on, man, it's a grown man who don't got, even got that car. But, um, yeah, for me, and that's my first car I ever bought, I wanted that car, you know, uh, for, for B2, when I'm old, like, I ain't finna buy that car, then trade it in to get a Hellcat, to get another car. Nah, I want that, I'm, I want my first car I bought and just keep it forever. But, um, it did get hit, but, it's cool because God did everything for a reason. Hopefully, the car not totaled. I'm praying for that. Just pray that the car is not totaled and um, that they can repair it because I do want my first car I ever bought with my own money. It's just not material things. It, it got sentimental values to it because when you achieve something, you work so hard for something and you came from nothing, what you what you got is it, mean something. And only people who came from nothing can know how that feel. And, um, yeah, man. So hopefully it's not total. But I thank God he did have insurance and everything. And uh, like I said, bro, don't text and drive. Don't do all that. But big ups to my uh, homeboy Rico because he hit me. Then I hit my boy Rico and his girl was pregnant in the car. But thank God because forget all the forget all my other stuff. Forget all the car and everything. Just thank God she wasn't seriously hurt with her baby because... You see, people, man, people be careless, bro. You don't know who you hit in. You don't know who in the car. You don't know if kids was in the car. You don't know none of that. But thank God, all the glory to God, man. That nothing happened to a baby, man. Cause you don't never want to see that a kid life. Come on, man. Not no kid. But thank God she wasn't hurt that bad or nothing. And, and it was my car instead of her kid. I take that over any day, bro. You know, a car over a child. Come on, man. Thank God her child wasn't, her baby wasn't um, injured or anything. Shout out to my boy Rico. Go follow his channel. Rico Reckless, I'll pop it up right there on the screen so you can see it. But um, I appreciate the fan love y'all been showing. That's why we've been going for a week, man, just recovering. We back on the grind. I'm back on the grind, man. My brother love y'all, we love y'all. Hey, just stay tuned. We got more reactions on the way. Appreciate the fan love support. This is just a story to tell, man. Y'all already know what it is. The grind don't stop for nothing. Peace and love. We out.